In their Kickstarter campaign, Lunar Display promised to send you a device that would quickly and easily turn your iPad into a second screen for your laptop or desktop. Mine's just come in the post, let's see how they did. Welcome back to An Ordinary Geek. The project funded in October 2017. Their original ship date was estimated to be May 2018. It's August 2018 and I've just received mine in the post in the UK. So a little bit of a delay but nothing unusual for a Kickstarter campaign. I think the packaging on this is really well done. It's really small, really minimal, very Apple-esque if that's not too much of a cliche to use. Nothing is wasted, you have only what you need. When you open the lid for the first time, you're greeted with this cute little sign that tells you basically to stop what you're doing and visit their website. So let's do that. Following that URL will take you to this page. Click here, download, and you're basically off to the races. You do of course need the matching software to be installed on your iPad. Just jump onto the App Store, Lunar Display, download, and you're off. It does of course help if you don't have Exmo riddled fingers and your fingerprint scanner can actually read your damn thumb. Once you've installed your apps and everything's good to go, just simply plug in the Lunar Display and the software does the rest. This process was quick and smooth and simple, not only the first time but multiple times after that. First time obviously you have to set some permissions on your laptop or computer, but once you've done that, it's really pretty slick and easy. In Apple parlance, it just works. I was just really impressed with the speed of the whole thing. Very impressive stuff. If you scroll too quickly through a web page, you might see a slight jutter, a slight shadow, but very, very hard to notice. You really have to go looking for the problems. Not only does it work for web browsing and stuff like that, it even works for video. This is a particularly good looking YouTube channel I've just discovered. I really think you should check it out. What a handsome devil. But as you can see, no problem streaming this, no juttering, no slowdown, no lag. Works quick and smooth and easy. I tried quitting the software, unplugging everything, waiting a while and turning it all back on again and each time reconnection was quick and absolutely effortless. I think maybe within about three to five seconds each time. The Mac side of the software is very unobtrusive and very simple, lets you have the display on the left or the right, be retina or non-retina and that's pretty much all you need. If you want you can even use the touch controls on the iPad side in the place of the mouse cursor. This may not be as precise as using the actual trackpad or mouse, but is a nice little extra feature to have. The last thing I wanted to test was the range, whether or not you had to use this sitting down next to your computer. So I started streaming a YouTube video, picked up the iPad, walked to the other side of my lounge, and as you can see, absolutely no stuttering, no ghosting, no issues whatsoever. And then because I was feeling a little bit mean-spirited, I even tried playing in the hall, which is probably double the distance from my laptop with a big thick wall in between, and as you can see, still working really well. All in all, I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. It's nice to have a small bit of hardware that's simple, effective, does one thing really well. And it's so small and pocketable, I can quite easily see this living in my briefcase and my backpack. Pre-orders are open now, and I believe the intention is to start shipping at the beginning of next year. They come in USB-C or mini display port varieties, depending on what kind of Mac you have. And if you, like I, travel with your iPad and laptop very often, I highly recommend it. Thanks very much for watching. If you backed Lunar Display on Kickstarter and you got your unit through, or if you're thinking of pre-ordering, do let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter and Instagram. I am at an ordinary geek on both of them. Please do also have a quick look around my channel. I've got lots for the videos, other tech reviews, book reviews, Lego reviews, a little bit of everything. Hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot.